Uh, okay, so yesterday on the show, Adam and I had a pretty uh, you know back and forth conversation, interesting on uh, on Pinnacle, and uh, there's a deadline coming for Ontario stakeholders to you know sort of figure out what the gray market is going to look like versus uh, being legal in Canada. So I love uh, an expansion on that from you, Pat. Yeah, so I know when I first mentioned the gray market this spring to you, you were kind of like, oh, I've never heard that phrase. And it no. is because it's it's the gray area. You know, in Canada, it wasn't explicitly illegal to bet online. <laughs> you just couldn't bet it legally, if that makes sense. Uh, so there was a, a, a gray market where people could offer it if you were regulated somewhere else or not regulated. You just were operating. Um, and so that's been one of the main uh you know, goals of regulating the market in Ontario is pull all this money in and make money off of it via taxes. And there were tons of gray market operators, which some are white market operators, so legal in other markets like Bet365, which many people think are, is leading the Ontario market. Um, but then there's others like Pinnacle, which has largely been a black market operator and hasn't really been regulated in any market. Um, and that just kind of makes money. Uh, and you know, they can offer their low odds, uh, or, you know, better odds based on, uh, not having to pay taxes. So, you know, Pinnacle is kind of one of those last crossovers for Ontario. And, and, you know, I let, you know, you can go back and watch Adam's segment yesterday talking about kind of the significance of Pinnacle crossing over because that may, may mean, you know, they have higher aspirations in regulated markets or, or however you, you they may be playing it. They they declined to talk to me about it. Uh, but so on Monday is a, a deadline for Ontario sports betting stakeholders to kind of give input on when they're going to start enforcing their laws and virtually eliminate the gray market and make it a black market if you're not regulated. And again, that's been their whole goal this whole time. One of their main goals this whole time is just to create that white and black market and and leave that gray area behind and and it seems like they've done a great job between i mean pinnacle uh, again that's one i think maybe they weren't expecting to get uh but you've got sports interaction another one that i was kind of surprised they got because that's through the kanawaki gaming commission a sovereign uh first nations uh community that you know initially before the market launched told me you know we don't want to pay a foreign tax even though that First Nation is just by uh, Montreal. You know, they didn't want to, you know, give money to this market that they don't necessarily agree with. Um, but then you've got Bet365, you've got 888, you've got uh, Bet99 is still yet to launch, which is a big one. They've got an Austin Matthews sponsorship and a, um, a couple other Montreal related sponsorships, which, of course, you know, uh, Quebec's not an open sports betting market yet could be in the future and and but you know they've got lots of sports i think bet 99s no bet regal is also another one that they've got a big cfl sponsorship so you know they're getting all these players to come over and and so they're starting to say well when can we start enforcing these rules and and make it so you know these are these are black market operators if you're not regulated with us so that's happening it seems like they're achieving their goals and you know we can go back to our conversations about whether the revenue goals are meeting the, uh, you know, ultimate goals, <laughs> I'm saying goals a lot, that they uh, set. But, you know, we're still got a football season. We've got those, some of these big gray market operators that have crossed over and we're able to keep their databases. So I think the revenue in Canada is going to keep growing, uh, at least in Ontario, because that's the commercial market we're talking about. And uh, mm -hmm. it seems like that it's, we'll see on after Monday, uh, kind of what the, what the, goal is but it, it seemed like october 31st was that kind of eliminate the great market target so we'll see by the end of next month i suppose yeah no we will find out we've been hearing the elimination of this for a long time maybe this is a real deadline we'll find out pat